to talk to you about um, an idea we've been playing with and that's becoming more and more concrete, uh, which is creating a separate organization that cares for MediaWiki. Um, so when I got the review for my talk, um, one interesting line was, at first I thought this is a really crazy idea, uh, but when I thought a little more about it, it became more interesting, so we should discuss it. And um, uh, I guess that's the line I want to convey. Okay, so um, the main topic or the main issue we're having as people who use MediaWiki outside of the foundation um, is that uh, MediaWiki gets a little, ex a little um, attention in the Wikimedia world. Um, I mean, there's a lot of effort going into MediaWiki, there's a lot of resources going into MediaWiki, but MediaWiki as a software, as a thing that you can download and install on your computer, um, gets rather little attention. So I want to show you a few things, um, if I can. So, MediaWiki is really widely used, um, and um, I guess a lot of, of you are using MediaWiki out there, um, maybe in small local wikis, maybe for knowledge bases, I don't know, um, in governmental organizations, I mean, also intelligence and military corporations. Um, there's a lot of use cases out there that use MediaWiki and that are impacted by the changes we make here. Um, and uh, we feel that the changes we make here do not really consider enough the um, amount of people we affect when we do this. So let me just give you a brief grasp of how big MediaWiki is out the, outside of the foundation. So when you look at this slide here, um, you can see the blue line are the WMF wikis. Um, so you can see you can't really see it, it's not there. Um, compared to the amount of other wikis out there, um, the red bit are the self-installed media wikis. These are the ones that people download and install um, and, and maintain their own uh, media wikis. Then we have a huge portion of Wikia wikis, actually 400,000 Wikia wikis. Um, and we have other maintained wikis, which is the green one. Um, so just to see, if, if, you see, if you look at this, then uh, of course, self-installed media wikis don't have a huge majority because the majority is with Wikia, which is definitely not the, 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 the core part of our concern. But if you look at the number of edits, for example, or the number of articles, or the number of good articles, you can see that out, oh, this graphic is really bad, I'm sorry for that. Um, you can see that the number of total articles, for example, um, the blue one there is uh, Wikip all Wikipedias, all Wikisources, including Wikidata, um, and the red one is all media wikis that you can find out there in the internet, excluding the ones that are managed and used by Wikia. So those are all self-installed media wikis that individual people maintain. Um, also, if you look at the good articles ratio, it's similar. So if you look at the ratio of this, then you can really see that um, the number or the, the, the uh, sum of media wikis out there are really on a par with Wikipedia and sometimes already exceeding the Wikipedia. And you can even more see this by, by this, again, very ugly rendered um, slice. Um, that's the number of users. And you can see that the total of users that we have in Wikimedia sites, Wikipedias, Wikisource, Wikiquote, Wikidata, um, is just a quarter of the number of users we have out there in other MediaWiki sites. So what this means is, whenever we change something in MediaWiki, we not only affect um, people that are using Wikipedias and, and WMF sites, but we also affect a large portion of people out there. And that is something I guess we definitely need to consider more um, than we do now. That's, um, for reference reasons, the um, absolute numbers. So, MediaWiki, and I want to make this course, is uh, definitely part of the Wikimedia family, um, and it fits into the movement's mission. Because that's something people might argue at some point, so we're not creating software, we're creating content. Um, I want to argue that MediaWiki is something which um, someone else who is more knowledgeable than I am called opinionate, opinionated software. So in the software, you have some principles in there which 
convey the principles we share as a community. So it trains the user to share first. When you edit um, something on a wiki, then you share it at least with all the other users on that wiki, so it's, it's a sharing software. Um, you end up creating better quality information because you need sharing and reviewing principles which are built in the software. Um, there's also an aspect of trust in a wiki. So whenever you do something, it's published first and reviewed later. So th that's not on the slide. So you, um, you actually trust your users that they are capable of writing good content. Um, instead of uh, saying to them, you cannot write good content, we need to review it first. Um, it also makes clear that there are ways of sharing, um, uh, other ways of sharing are possible. Um, if you want to develop something like a web-based society, we need collaboration tools like this. And we not only need them on um, Wikipedia, we also need them on many, many places all over the internet. We need a collaborative internet. And MediaWiki is a means, it's a tool to do this. Um, and of course, um, this also uh, enhances the diversity of formats. So if you, uh, for example, if you think about multimedia formats, um, then you can see that um, our MediaWiki's um, uh, tendency to use open source and open formats um, greatly improves the visibility of those open formats and open uh, source things. So we have opinionated, opinionated software, which definitely fits into the mission of sharing the sum of our knowledge in, um, uh, in the Wikimedia world. However, MediaWiki needs some love. So um, when you look at um, some of the recent uh, developments, um, you can see that MediaWiki as a software, and I'm not talking about Wikipedia, MediaWiki as a software is somewhat ne neglected. There are uh, conflicts in the um, development process, there are things that, um, say, the, the foundation decides to do uh, without, um, I guess, really looking into the effects that it has on all those users we just seen. Um, there are things that the users do out there, um, changes uh, to extensions that uh, collide with development uh, of the foundation. Um, and um, when we look at it, um, we can see that there are certain areas where we actually do have um, yeah, a lot of room for improvement, so to say. Um, that is, of course, maintenance. Um, if you ever have uh, tried to update a media wiki where there are like more than um, 10 extensions on there, you know that you're kind of getting into a dependency hell. It's, it's really hard to update this software. Um, if uh, if you compare installation process to the installation process of like WordPress, um, you, you will experience that it's way harder to install a MediaWiki um, and, um, and such things. Then of course MediaWiki is not actively promoted um, in any way, um, which gives a lot of room to other software um, to make their cause to, um, uh, to gain um, market share, if you wish. Um, of course, um, also extension developers uh, lack systematic um, documentation. And uh, we also see that there is um, a lack of support for an ecosystem. So um, partners, um, people that work around MediaWiki are not systematically um, fostered or systematically helped. <clears throat> so what are the options we have to resolve this or to um, improve the situation? First, as always, in strategic decision, you have to go with option zero, which is do nothing, which is keep it as it is. Um, as uh, MediaWiki progresses, and I'm not going into technical details, it will, be, it will become increasingly hard um, to install a MediaWiki that looks like the wiki on Wikipedia um, for, se for, for several reasons. Um, so, um, as it gets increasingly hard, and people who use MediaWiki will get a, um, say, a, a, a short version of MediaWiki and not the full one in the future, um, MediaWiki's reputation um, might suffer. So this is a, a big risk, um, which then also means that people might be driven away from using it due to technological restrictions. Um, and that, of course, um, means that closed source uh, wikis, uh, cross source solutions, uh, do have um, more chances on the market and will become um, 
more of the market share, which is not something we want because, as I said before, um, I, I uh, firmly believe that uh, MediaWiki enforces our mission and is part of our mission. And also, um, I need to talk about this for a bit, there's a high risk of a software fork. Um, this has been discussed several times in the last uh, um, years and months. And I think this is something we definitely need to prevent. So here are some thoughts on forking. Um, all credits to me, of course. Um, so a fork, what is it? It's um, would split MediaWiki development into two branches which develop separately. So one is the branch of MediaWiki that's used on the Wikipedias and on the WMF sites. And the other is the branch that would be used by wikis that are out there. And they would be developed separately. So separate organizations would develop them in separate code bases and separate uh, structures. Um, the benefit people see from suggesting this is that um, MediaWiki for third parties could then evolve freely and you could um, develop stuff that is now uh, not possible or hard to do. Um, but I think we should all be aware that there are several drawbacks of this and they are severe. So of course, um, there's a lot of duplication of effort and split of resources. So it would hinder both uh, branches if we had to. Um, then you, we all have to consider that MediaWiki's popularity um, is also due to the fact that it is the software that drives Wikipedia. So if, okay. Um, so if we want to, um, if we want to uh, fork, then we would try to develop a software that is definitely not the software that's, um, that's running on Wikipedia anymore. It will totally lose popularity. Um, uh, and plus the emotional stress and bad reputation all softwares get when they start forking. So this is definitely not an option I would consider seriously, and I think um, we need to do everything we can to keep on the same track of development for the Wikipedia and for the media wikis out there. Okay, so um, we have two options that, um, that are on the table that are more realistic. One option is to have a media wiki foundation, and that was kind of the uh, inspiration for the title and for this talk think about the idea of having a MediaWiki foundation. That would spin off MediaWiki core development into a separate organization. So we would have a MediaWiki organization somewhere that cares about MediaWiki core and MediaWiki as it is used by everyone. And then the foundation would add its bits and pieces upon that core and third parties could add their bits and pieces upon that core. Um, which of course leads to a separation of concerns um, on the product level and it's, um, uh, it might be easier to reconcile both worlds, but um, on, um, the, the, the drawback is that we have a duplication of organizational structures and um, it's really hard, it will be really hard to coordinate the development work between the foundation and this organization as the foundation will probably, um, has good reasons not to give um, away to external dependencies. Um, so um, I think that is not the best option we have available. Um, so the second option is to create a focused organization, which is an organization that's designed to help um, MediaWikis out there, MediaWiki maintainers. Um, we still have a separation of concerns and that is on the use case level. So. Um, Media, uh, Wikimedia Foundation, WMF, will still develop MediaWiki. Um, they still do the stuff they do right now, but we have a separate organization that cares about MediaWiki as a product um, with all the things that are around this. Um, one of the core benefits, of course, is that we have more ways to raise money for this um, because we could ask um, companies, for example, to contribute to the development of media wikis they use in their uh, environments. Okay, so what's the benefit of such an organization? Um, all the stakeholders could contribute resources. Um, we'd be able to raise funds directly. Um, the, what I call the responsibility gap, uh, which we have now, uh, could be closed um, 
between like media wiki development for um, Wikipedia and media wiki, uh, media wiki development for outside users. Um, the stakeholders, which we have seen as a considerable portion, I mean the, the people using media wiki, um, can influence the feature set of media wiki in a better way, um, and there can also be a better coordination of efforts. So, um, there's a very concrete suggestion um, or a thing um, we are doing. So, um, we already have an organization that is designed to do things like this, and that's the MediaWiki Stakeholders User Group. We were founded in uh, 2014, so we are roughly two years old. Um, and we are currently fixing bugs, working on documentation, um, and investigation, uh, investigating media wiki usage. Um, so the idea is to take this existing organization um, and use it as an incubator for a bigger thing around media wiki. Um, and um, so we are working on a vision, mission, roadmap, whatever uh, you all, what you need for these organizations. And I want to uh, show you this real quick. I think I have two more minutes or so. Um, so the vision is um, is somewhat visionary, of course. Um, imagine a world in which people participate to build <laughs> wiki-based tools to easily create, share, and transform knowledge collaboratively. Um, that's like the general thing. It will become more concrete when you look at the mission. So we want to work in improving media wiki experience, um, making media wiki easier to manage, advertise it. Um, make it become a more reliable partner, which means um, talk more about roadmaps and try to make sure there are roadmaps, um, maybe do our own roadmaps, empower partners, help um, users and third party de uh, developers. What this not will be is um, make another Wikipedia, um, compete with the foundation. That's really the important things. I know that whenever I mention we do a media wiki organization, people say, wait, no fork. And I say, no, 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 it's not a fork. Um, this is definitely, we will not do a fork. We will not um, get into the way of, of, uh, fund, of the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, this is meant to complement the efforts in an area where there is not um, a, a good organizational structure. So a lot of people asking me, how do you think you can get uh, money? Um, we already talked to organizations um, that use MediaWiki and they have indicated they are willing to give uh, financial support um, or they can spare developer resources for a certain amount of time. And um, depending on the form of incorporation, um, such an organization could also receive grants or raise their own uh, funds, their own donations. So um, this is not a totally unrealistic option. We, as I said, we already have lists of pe people that are willing to do this. Not too many, though, but we have indication that is, this might be a working funding model. OK, so um, be part of this. If anyone is interested in um, making MediaWiki great again, I shouldn't quote this person. Um, <laughs> If anyone's interested to talk to me about this, um, get in touch. Um, you can see um, the email addresses and the address of the existing group here. And I'm happy to answer your questions or talk about your ideas of how we can improve the perception and the quality of MediaWiki for people outside of the foundation. Thanks. Any questions? Uh, thank you for that. I, I think you tried to answer this question already a little bit, but can you explain more concretely what the difference was between option one and option two? Is it just the the size of the potential organization, or or is there more to it? Because you're, you're, in either case, there would be a separate, presumably nonprofit that's focused on developing media wiki software. Correct? Um, yeah. So option one, um, having a an official media wiki foundation, uh, would first of all transfer all the trademarks to that foundation, 
uh, and second would transfer all core development, uh, all the development that contains MediaWiki core um, to this MediaWiki Foundation, uh, which probably in, 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 so in, in, in reality would mean that the foundation, the Wikimedia Foundation, you have to be really careful, careful about this, um, will transfer some stuff to that MediaWiki Foundation um, where they can develop on core and um, without, yeah. Um, so the, the core of MediaWiki would move out of the um, scope of the Wikimedia Foundation, that's the difference. In option two, um, uh, no, one thing I have to say about this is this would only be um, with one big step, so you can't, you can't ramp it up. You can't say, okay, I'm, um, I'm singling out one developer and this, and, and this one goes to um, the new foundation, but you have to um, take like 30 developers or whatever it takes uh, in one place. So this would probably cause some kind of friction. So the, the option two is uh, kind of a ramping up this. So um, we start slow, we, um, we start doing kinds of things around MediaWiki, around MediaWiki core, um, and um, uh, the idea is to slightly or, or um, step by step take on more responsibility um, on MediaWiki. Yes, please. Uh, uh, sorry. No. Oh. Yes. Hello, I'm Ignacio from Uruguay. Uh, this model of um, of splitting the the uh, Wiki software development to a separate organization uh, to me sounds okay because one thing is the software and another is the Wikimedia community of writers and editors and 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 all that kind of stuff, so that makes sense. But if MediaWiki software, I mean, one of the things that you say is that uh, it could get uh, money from other organizations. Presumably some of these could be for profit, for example, Wikia. So uh, what do you think about the danger of this new organization become a uh, dependent on for-profit organizations rather than non-profit uh, communities like Wikimedia? Mm. That's a good question. Um, I think you, you're right, there is some danger um, and, and we've seen open source software being taken over by for-profit, like, um, I don't know, IBM took Eclipse or whatever. Um, uh, in the past, I think um, though that this is a question of how reasonably you work with your resources. Um, so you could either um, uh, see that you have a broad funding model and, and not um, uh, try to prevent that you get one big sponsor. Um, I don't know if that's very realistic um, or you have to do your contracts in a way that if that sponsor breaks away, you just have less resources, I don't know. Um, I think um, this is a question we have to um, think about and concern. Uh, on the other hand, um, I'm not worried about the commercial side too much because that organization and what it does will always be GPL and open source. So even if you have a commercial uh, sponsor, uh, then they would sponsor open source software, right? Okay. Hello. Hi, uh, I think I've already like talked to you about my position, but I think that creating a, a small organization that slowly starts ramping up and doing more development is a good idea. And there's enough room for like areas where the WMF neglects in MediaWiki development and areas that those parts of the software that they don't use, which are really good like pain points for most other MediaWiki users to start using. Um, and like air, work in the area would be like really well received. And the other thing I wanted to say is that I don't think including Wikia in statistics and media wiki usage is um, worth is like makes sense anymore because Wikia has already forked media wiki, um, and it would be really nice if we could get them back to using like um, 
mainline media wiki, but I think they may have gone like too far on the fork already. Yeah, um, I um, I put wiki in the statistics uh, just to show that there's a lot of software based on media wiki. In the in the figures about edits and users, wiki doesn't play a role. That's interesting. So. Um, if I would have left out Wikia in, in, in those, um, the situation would just be the same um, compared to like relations. Mark? I, I had a comment on this commercialization aspect. Um, you, have, you, you only really have to look at Oracle and MySQL to see what would happen because if people really felt like the software was in danger of being taken over by an evil company like Oracle, there, there would be an effort out there like MariaDB to, to really take control and wrest it away from the, the evil corporation. And right now, the, on, the only thing we have that's anywhere close to an evil corporation, and it's not evil at all, is the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, so, you know, it, it's, we're not worried about wresting control from anyone. We're trying to get a voice. And, and the corporations, to quote Romney, are people too. And anyway, that's all. Yeah, there was one more question in the... Uh... Bridge Farm, um, mostly, mostly from the English Wikipedia and a few other places. Um, the first session this afternoon here was about improving collaboration between different stakeholders, shall we say, um, and particularly one of the things that I know a lot of other people have had problems with is where there's a bug that's really, really uh, either important or really, really annoying, and it sits there for six, seven, eight, ten years. Um, and both when Mark Hirschberger came in and later on, I do think we've sort of made some progress into the development community becoming a bit more responsive, or you know, develop, you know, development structure of the foundation becoming more responsive both to what Wikimedians and particularly Wikimedia volunteer, volunteer developers want. Uh, my concern with a new foundation is that it would not be as responsive as I would like the uh, WMF developing team to be. I'm not going to say as responsive as they are now because I still think we've got a way to go. Um, how would you, do you think that's something that would be addressable in a new environment? Um, so two thoughts on this. One is um, the idea I am proposing, which is option number two, is um, your box would not be in our scope. So it would totally, so for Wikipedia's, um, the world would just not change in option two. But for the outside world, for um, the media wikis that people installed, the world would change. Um, having said that, um, I know that we've been approached by um, smaller Wikipedia's that said they, were, they would have been able to raise money um, to sponsor some development, for example, um, but it, like, they would not have enough money to hire a developer. So um, the question was, would this organization I'm, th I'm thinking of actually be in a position to um, develop MediaWiki like Pixelbox for money? Um, and I personally have an opinion on this. I'm not in favor of such a thing. I think. As I said, we need clear separation of concerns. Um, but I know that in the stakeholders group, there are some people, among them Brian Liber, who is very um, uh, knowledgeable about the processes here. And he says he, he thinks that could be an option for this, uh, for this group. So um, I, I think that's still in discussion, and um, any input is welcome, of course. OK, I think we are out of time. Um, thanks everyone for discussing this and I'm here if you have questions. Also my first